Welcome to Starry Hilders Back to Eden Garden. <laughs> I want to show you guys real quick before we do a Back to Eden tour update because it is time. Things are exploding. Look at what is living on our homestead. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? I got baby birds. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so let's go on the tour. We'll see you later, birdie. So I actually have a cameraman today. Mr. Hilder's behind the camera. Thank you, honey. And I'm going to take you uh, through the garden, but I wanted to say I actually made a video probably about a week ago before I, I left to go to Wisconsin and I was going to post it because things were getting so big and I come back and things are even more big. This garden is just exploding and the success of this Back to Eden method is uh, it's phenomenal. I cannot say enough. So let's get started. i um, just going to walk you through real quickly some of the things I wanted to show you guys. Look at how big our sunflowers have gotten. This is kind of our permacultured area where I hauled in all the rocks and we did all wood chips. We just threw the wood chips right on uh, the dirt here. And I've got everything coming up from fruits to beautiful flowers. Uh, everything has a purpose in this area. But I don't want to waste too much time in this um, potato season. Right now, you see how these potatoes are turning a little bit yellow. We use the back to Eden method. You see all the, the wonderful wood chips. These are ready for harvest. So I am so sorry. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna dig up a potato. This is live action people. Woo! Because I don't know what's underneath here. And oh, oh hang on. Oh and I think there's potatoes in here. Oh this is cool. This is, and, and look, you can see the, oh wow, this is awesome. This is just one plant. Oh, <laughs> this is a big one. Oh, this is, look at these. Oh, I am so excited. Okay, I know people, I get excited. Oh, these are beautiful. Okay, now, uh, some, this is nice. This is nice. This is beautiful. This is like one plant right now. And, um, just think when we get over to the other ones. This this was kind of the, the experiment um, left, I shouldn't say leftover patch, but it was a very small patch. But look already, one plant, we are, we're getting a lot of really awesome potatoes. I don't know if there's anything else down there, but I do want to say real quickly, as I focus on the potatoes, potatoes is a great um, food to have in your pantry. Uh, when things really get bad, potatoes, carrots, all your root vegetables, you want to you wanna stock up on those. Now, the other thing I want to talk about real quickly, root vegetables in the grocery store, oh, try to stay away from them. Farmers nowadays use so many pesticides, there's so many metals in the soil, and it all goes into that root plant that you are eating. And I know organic stuff is expensive, but if you can grow your own root plants, like we grow all of our own root plants, our celery, our carrots. In fact, come here. I'm going to show you guys over here. We've got, um, look at this. It has been 100 degrees, super dry. Look at this celery. This is a beautiful root plant. And you know, celery is a real um, thirsty type of vegetable. It's very fickle. It's very hard to grow. It's a heavy feeder. You know, look, this is, this is so green. And when you buy celery in the store, ugh, it just, it's just, it's, it's not good. So try to grow your own celery, try to grow your own carrots. Look at, we just um, started another row and it's beginning to pop up. We don't really have to do much except throw the stuff in the ground with this method and it grows. In fact, here, come here. This is so cool. Um, if you look in the floor of our garden, you will see um, here's a rogue tomato plant. Potato. That, oh, potato. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, potato. That's a that's a tomato. Now come over here. You just walk, and you can see stuff just grows everywhere. And come over here. I want to show you guys this. Okay, look at this. This is what we have for our earth out here. Isn't this awful? We just spread out all the wood chips, and look. This is from... What are these carrots? About three. Mm -hmm. These these are rogue carrots three years ago, and just because we covered it with wood chips, you can see the line. 
we've got carrots growing. And look, come here, come here, come here. This is, look at this. Same thing, row carrots growing in our cinder blocks. And what do we have in between the cinder blocks? We've got wood chips, isn't this cool? So, oh, and the other thing, oh, look at, oh, look at our tomatoes. They're not getting, I'll show you some of the ripe ones, but look at, they're dripping with fruit. And my husband, we've talked about this before, we are gathering up the chicken poop. We don't put the chickens in the garden right now because they're a little too destructive, but we use their poop and we put it on top of the, of the heavy, you know, a layer of wood chips. And as time goes uh, on, it will leach into the soil. Now, so I'm in the, the potato jungle right now. And you can see these flowered, and now they're still healthy and green. And they're not turning yellow like the ones at the end over there that are ready for harvest. But when they do, can you imagine? That was just like, kind of like a little prelude to what's to come. But the other thing I wanted to show you guys, look down here. <laughs> He, I, he's, I don't know where, he, what are you doing there, a streak? Last time he was chewing on a stick and, and now he's hiding out in the potato patch. But uh, this is phenomenal and we're so excited to see, I think we're going to have a great potato season. So I wanted to show you guys my kale. This is three weeks old and I know all you gardeners who are really experienced know about adding things throughout the growing season. Well, we added some kale and look at how beautiful it's doing. And I love, I love kale chips. I should do a video on kale chips. But here's a, one other real quick um, side note that I want to make because I get a lot of comments and people have asked us, no, I shouldn't say they asked us. They've, they've looked at the garden and the first comment they say is, wow, good job. That must take a lot of hard work. Hmm. Um, here's a secret people. Uh, this doesn't take any hard work at all. And really, I'm not hyping this up. This is the truth. This back to Eden method, once it's established, it, 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 my husband has a rake. That's all he needs to take care of this garden. And he spends very little time in the garden. It takes care of itself. God takes care of this method. And that's the beauty of it. And the, and the other thing is, um, we're in the panhandle of Idaho. Look it up, people. Our weather has been between 90 and 100 degrees with basically zero rainfall. And we have had to water this garden in the, in, in, in the last three months three times. That's it. So, and we have to conserve on water because we have that spring and we're concerned about it, you know, getting down to that trickle. So this green, lush, back to Eden garden, three times. That's it. It doesn't require hardly any water. Okay, let's go take a look at the peppers now. So the peppers are doing so great. In fact, I want my husband to come and pan in on this. Um, Every time I come up here, they're getting bigger, more flowers, more produce. Look at this. These are my banana peppers, banana peppers. I went crazy with banana peppers because I love them. But look, look at this. This is so cool. And I love it. Look at they're turning red. Bananas. Oh, fun. Did you look at this one? I didn't check this one for a while. Look at the bells. Isn't this great? And look at that. And there's the stalks are nice and healthy. We got more bells on here. Oh, hun, quick, 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 quick. Show them this. These are my jalapenos. Look at that. We're not in California, people, where, you know, there is like hot, hot sun 24-7. But you can't go wrong. Look at this. These are my Hungarian waxes. Look at how they grow straight up. That is kind of cool. Oh, and these are my other hot peppers. I forgot. Oh, I know what these are. These are canned peppers. But isn't that beautiful? Oh, and the other cool thing. Okay, as my husband was panning. Okay, look at that. I got lush kale there. And... I've got, oh, over here, come, come quick. I've got a spot here with some uh, Swiss chard. When you have holes, this is this was the end of the peppers. It kind of added, um, was like an odd number of peppers. So what do we do? We put kale at the end. We had a, a, a pepper plant, I, I actually believe it died. So we added kale there. So when you have dead spaces, put food, food, food there, um, especially um, with this method, you can just rake back, you know, the wood chips, throw your seeds in, let them grow, and then push the, the, the wood chips back. And the other thing, look at this. Rogue, rogue sunflower plant. I don't know where these things come from. They just pop out of the wood chips. And look at this. This is a, another potato plant. I don't know where it came from. Oh, 
and this too, these, these were all wild rogue plants. Um, we were like, let's just leave them and see what they turn into. Look at, I've got pumpkins here. Right at the end, this was a dead space, and all of a sudden, I have pumpkins. Oh, and not just only pumpkins. Come here. Let's see, what was the, oh, this was the other rogue plant. And we let it grow because I looked at these, these leaves and I didn't know what they were, but look at this. It's some type of squash, and I think it might be maybe a spaghetti squash. I'm not sure, but we've got another one over there. So, I don't know. I just love it. It's just... The garden, as you see, is exploding. Uh, so let's... Can you turn it off? So I'm always amazed at how tall tomato plants get. I'm a tall gal. I'm like almost six feet tall. And look at how they just keep growing, like up to the sky. So these... Oh, and they smell. Oh, they smell so good. So I wanted to show you guys how tall they are. But come down here. We are um, not in ripening season yet. We're, we seem to be a little bit behind some of you other guys out south. south. I know a lot of people are already canning their tomatoes, but look at these. We're getting some ripe ones on the vine. Aren't these gorgeous? So these are, what are those, hon? Bloody, bloody butchers. Bloody butchers. That's what I thought. Those are the bloody butchers. Look at that. And we did, uh, I believe, plant a couple heirlooms. We've got some uh, cherry tomatoes. We have some romas. But probably, I would say, what do you think, in another good week or two, we should have a little bit more coming into, um, into redness. But, oh, here, just hold on. I want to crawl over here. Even though these are green, these are aromas. I love aromas because they look like, they look like Easter eggs. <laughs> okay. So I want to show you guys real quick our zucchini and squashes. But look, we have bees all over our homestead. And if you look at our ground cover, we really don't have grass. We keep things as natural as possible. We've got little clover patches all over the place, and what does that do? It draws in the bees. We love the bees. They're good for nature and for all our plants. But anyway, um, so I'm going to hand the camera back to my husband. Look at what I picked today. <laughs> so, um, Aren't these huge? This is just gigantic. And I like to pick them a little bit sooner than this, but golly gee, uh, it's hard to keep up with these zucchinis. I go out there in one day and they're just like so huge, but aren't they beautiful? So now I am in Charlie Brown's tiny, teeny, teeny pumpkin patch. And it really is a teeny, tiny pumpkin patch. We are growing really tiny pumpkins this year. This was an experiment and they all came up. Look at how tiny these are. Aren't these awesome? So, um, nothing goes to waste. I will use all these tiny, teeny pumpkins. And, um, boy, I think, people, that's all. I think that's all of it. I think we showed you just about the whole darn garden today. So, God bless you guys. Thanks for coming along. And I hope every time you see these videos, you're getting a little bit more information and tips that will help your garden be successful. And, you know... Welcome new subscribers, because I'm getting a whole bunch. Woohoo! I'm really excited about that. And I love the comments. And sometimes it takes me a while to get back because I'm always busy. Oh, it takes hours sometimes. So be patient if I don't see your comment and I don't get back to you right away, but I try my best. All right, until next time, keep watching. If you're new, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Say that three times real fast. Bye.